Hey guys, I am collaborating on this video um, with the lovely Lisa from the Lollipop Box Club. Um, so go and check out um, her channel here on YouTube because she will have done a very similar video to me. So we thought it'd be really fun to do a collaboration um, on how we meal plan and the sorts of meals that we cook for our family. Um, we're both kind of similar um, in as much as we both really like to cook with um, fresh ingredients. Um, she is a uh, has a family of four. She has two like grown up children, teenage children, and um, herself and her husband. Um, she cooks a mix of meat and veggie dishes because her daughter um, is um, vegetarian, um, and she likes to try and um, make her food, her meals, um, not too over complex because they're quite. She's quite a busy person, um, but. Like, it's kind of like the same with us that um, we are both busy mums but we both very much believe in cooking fresh healthy nutritious um, food for our families now um, we are a vegan family um, we flit between being dietary vegans and lifestyle lifestyle vegans we're somewhere in the middle we try our best to be as vegan as possible at home. Um, sometimes it is a little bit tricky when we're out and about and so we kind of veer off into vegetarian. Um, but for this video, you will see that we are pretty much, pretty much um, vegans as much as possible. Um, and that's just a choice that we've made um, for both um, like the the health benefits as well as kind of like the moral or kind of like our own beliefs. So it's a, a two way kind of thing. So I'm gonna be showing you um, how I meal plan and um, how that all kind of works out and then actually showing you um, the meals that have been cooked as well. And you will see that too on Lisa's channel. Um, so there is me and John and also, our small person um, she tends to eat pretty much the same things that we eat um, sometimes um, she does like spicy food and um, things like garlic which is great because I put garlic in everything or so my husband tells me no I do I pretty much do put garlic in everything um, she pretty much eats what we eat although sometimes if we're having like um, a dish I don't know say like a curry sometimes sometimes she'll like to eat the curry and other times she prefers to eat the vegetables on their own like in individual places on the plate um, it just kind of depends on where she's at on in the day and her mood and her fancies for that day but pretty much we all will eat the same food so let's get into it oh I also wanted to say um, John and I we we don't have a freezer which is something that most people kind of find quite strange about us um we do technically own a freezer but we don't use it it's in the garage we've got it we used to have it in our old house um we have it but we don't use it occasionally at christmas we don't really want to get rid of it because there might come a time when we want to use it um but the reason we don't use it is because um i would probably just fill it up with ice cream and naughty things and we just prefer our preference is to eat um, fresh vegetables and things rather than frozen vegetables and try very hard where possible not to have too much processed food I try there are things that we do have sometimes like corn mints or corn sausages um, but when it comes to like sauces and things I try and make it all from scratch rather than jarred so that's a little bit of um, intro, a long intro. Let's get into it. So this is my cookery book, um, little cupboard in my kitchen. Um, you may have seen it before if you've watched some of my old vlogs. Now the books on the top, I don't tend to reach for that often. I do now and then, um, but I tend to go more for the books on on the bottom shelf. Um, this is not my entire cookbook collection. I do have some cookbooks in 
a cupboard, but because they are kind of mixed cookbooks, I don't tend to use them much. These are my more of my vegetarian and vegan cookbooks. So I have a few favourites like the River Cottage ones, um, the River Cottage veg, although I prefer the much more veg because um, the much more veg it has no, um, it's pretty vegan. Um, and this one is like vegetarian, so it has a lot of cheese or egg um, recipes in it. That's one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, I just kind of grab a couple of cookbooks um, that I fancy using for for the week. Um, just pull a couple out and I'll start browsing. Okay, so it's evening time. I always do my meal planning in the evening once little one's gone to bed because I find it easier to kind of focus and concentrate. Um, I usually do my meal planning on the sofa, um, but I'm doing it in the kitchen today because I'm filming. I always have a cup of tea because it just makes the whole thing a lot easier. Um, I've got my books. I've got the um, Appetite for a Reduction. Um, I've had this for quite a while. I, it's, it used to be one of my favourites, but I've kind of moved on to um, kind of some other ones. But I thought I'd pull it out um, tonight. Um, I use this one quite a lot, the baby and child vegetarian recipes. Now, it is vegetarian, but you can veganise them. So when it says... When it says milk, you can use vegan milk. When it says cheese, you can use vegan cheese. Um, this is by Carol Timberley. I quite like this one because they're quite, um, they're not fussy recipes. They don't have like a ton of spices and things in them. Um, and they've, there's some really nice recipes in here. And we, we actually use this one um, quite uh, a lot and we all like the things out of that. Um, this um, is the best veggie burgers on the planet. We tend to have a, a burger once a week. That's kind of something we um, all enjoy having. So go for a burger. And then I've also grabbed the Much More Veg by River Cottage, Hugh Fernley Whittingstall. This is like such a go-to book for me. So I have my books and I have a little drowse. I have two, well, two A5 sheets. It's just one A4 that I cut down. One I use for my shopping list and the other one I use for my um, meal planning. So what I do is we always go shopping on a Wednesday. Um, and so kind of do... Um, a weekly plan so what I do is I just write one to seven here five six seven and draw a line and that um, becomes the main meals that like our main cooked dinners that we're gonna have for the week um, and what I do is when I'm meal planning, I do a week's worth. I don't allocate days. I'm not that prescriptive. I will allocate seven meals for the week, but um, I like to kind of leave it open because I don't always know what I'm going to feel like on a Tuesday next week or, you know, I like to kind of change it around. Some meals are perhaps more complex than others. So um, if I've got more time one day than another, so I don't do, I don't do that. Um, yeah, so I literally just put like seven seven slots down as it were. Now I'm gonna just write um, on um, on here roughly where Sunday would be. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday would be number five. And I'm just gonna write meal out because we um, I know that we're going out on Sunday for my sister-in-law. Um, my sister-in-law's just turned 30 and we're having a big family dinner at a pub so I know that that like one of the days I don't need to meal plan for so I only actually need need to meal plan for six meals um we tend to have our main cooked meal in like about 12 30 in the day um just because we're all pretty much all at home John works from home um and it's really nice just to be able to do that and then in the evening we just have teas so then I use this section at the bottom here for our, our our teas and teas tend to be things like a jack of potato or some soup or avocado on toast just make like quick and simple um 
And the reason I do it on a piece of paper rather than in a planner is because I then put this on our whiteboard. We've got a magnetic whiteboard here in the kitchen and I put this up there so that um, there's a couple of days in the week that John will cook. Um, and so if it was in a planner, he wouldn't necessarily know where to, know where to look for our meals and things. So by having it on the whiteboard, he can easily see it as well. Um, so yeah, that's why I do that on a piece of paper rather than in my planner. Um, I used to do it in my planner and it just didn't end up working for us. Um, but just normal paper does. Um, so yeah, that's where our main meals will be. This is where our like teas will be. Um, and then down the bottom, I'll write um, if I'm going to do any baking. My daughter really loves to do baking, like cookies or cakes or something, something fun like that. So I'll tend to write down the bottom what, if there's any particular recipes I've chosen out of a book. Um, so remember them. So I basically, I just go through and choose some recipes, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so that's my shopping list done. So I've got all seven slots filled out. On um, on one day, we're gonna have a tart, um, a pastry tart with um, served with broccoli and green beans. But I know that that tart will do two days, which is good. So um, yeah, I've just kind of said like that will go, that will go over. Um, so yeah, there's my teas. I'm a bit, um, when it comes to the main meals, I write down what we're having. Um, I also write down the page number and the book that it's from. So that if it's John who's cooking on that particular day, then he can pick it up. Now what we do, I'll show you a previous um, week's one, although I haven't crossed it off. But so what I often, what we often do is there's a, we keep a black whiteboard pen on the whiteboard and um, once that meal's done we will cross it through so that the next person who comes you know like if it's John or whatever he can see what's uncrossed and he can think right I want to cook that today um so the um the page numbers giddy pig squeaking so the page number of the book is on there so you can reference that um our teas um they're less kind of they they move around a bit and they a lot often they tend to be kind of more store cup of tea so I've put avocado on toast a, a lentil dal I flipping love lentils a squash soup I've still got a butternut squash hanging around from last week so I'll use that up leek and potato soup um, very often I'll just put in a jacket potato uh, this week we might make some bliss balls. I've still got some medjool dates and coconut and all that. Actually, I need some more coconut, I'll put that on my list. Um, and also, I've put down um, some cookies that we might make. They're mainly store cupboard things, so they're kind of really easy. So, um, yeah, that will go on our whiteboard. And then I've done my shopping list. Now, this is the way I do my shopping list, and I've done it like this for years. I find it so easy to do while I'm writing it, and it saves me so much time in the shop. So I basically, I draw a line down the middle and then I kind of have an imaginary line, but now it's finished, I can just kind of do that to show you easily. So um, this, and I always write the same kind of things in the same places. Um, so this section here is all my fruit and vegetables. Um, so what I do is as I'm going through the book, I'll be like, right, okay, I need, um, I need a cauliflower, a cauliflower, a tin of baked beans, tin of baked beans. Um, so I section it up as I'm going through through the meals um, and I just find it so much easier when you actually get to the shop um, to to do that so that once you've done like the fruit and vegetable aisle you can make sure everything's ticked off there before you kind of move on it, it just I find it so it works um, so much easier for me doing it this way rather than having like one continuous list because I find that sometimes I forget things if I do that so yeah, this, this is our fruit and vegetables. This is all of our store cupboard stuff. Um, this is like toiletries, 
or household stuff. We, we don't need much this week because John bought um, some laundry liquid and some loo roll um, last week. So this week we don't really need that sort of stuff. But I do need some more washing up liquid and some bubble bath. So that will just go there. Um, and this section here is like the refrigerated section. So we've got um, yogurt on there, some cheese, um, some hummus, some cheese and corn mints and stuff like that. So yeah, this week I have done corn mints, which is obviously processed. Uh, my daughter is obsessed by corn mini sausages. They're a big snack food staple for her. <laughs> she loves them things. Um, so yeah, that is my shopping list, ready to go shopping this week. Um, and yeah, we've already got things in like tea. Um, if you follow my, I've got two Instagram accounts. One is Mrs. Brimbles, and that's where I show like all my planner and journal art stuff. And then my other Instagram account is called The, the Whimsical Cloud. Um, it is linked on my Mrs. Brimbles, if, if that's easier. And um, I share like more personal stuff and nature stuff and things on there. You may have seen that I bought like some loose leaf tea in like bulk. So we don't need any tea because we've got so much tea. Um, and I did, a, I did quite a big Holland and Barrett shop the other week. So got loads of like oats and nuts and seeds and things already in the cupboard. We, we, our store cupboards, our cupboard stuff is quite tanked up at the moment with like herbs and spices and nuts and seeds and things. So don't need so much this week. So that's it. This will go shopping with me and then we'll disappear. And this our food menu plan will go on the whiteboard as I said and we'll just cross it off as we go but I'll make sure to share what we're eating with you guys so you can see what it actually translates to um in the week this day and breakfast this morning is um oats soaked in almond milk overnight with a bit of cacao powder as well and then it's served with various mixed seeds I've got linseed chai, sunflower, pumpkin, something else, <laughs> and chopped mixed nuts. Um, and then I've got a dollop of um, almond and coconut butter and some blueberries. So lunch today, we're going from the Appetite for Reduction by Issa Muskowitz, and we are having the black bean and zucchini tacos. That's what it looks like, all ready to be wrapped up in our tortillas, which John is just opening. Breakfast this morning, Thursday, is um, overnight oats again, soaked in almond milk um, with mixed seeds, chopped nuts, and got um, um, an Alpro soy yogurt, mine's blueberry, John's is cherry, and um, a load of fruits, so blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. For lunch today, we have got homemade chippy wedges made by John, and we have got um, pizza burgers from that burger book. For our tea tonight, we've got more potatoes. <laughs> we've got a chunk of potato with Heinz baked beans, and it'll be what? What will it be? Beanlicious. Delicious. Breakfast today is overnight oats again. Um, with tons of fruit, it's exactly the same as previously. Before lunch today, Jonathan and his glamorous assistant have made a leek tart and they've done some roast potatoes, some Yorkshire puddings and some pulse out green beans and broccoli to go with it because someone, the small oldest person in the house, decided they wanted a roast dinner today. So tonight for our tea, John and the small person are cooking. <laughs> and what we're going to have with pancakes? Banana and syrup. Banana and syrup. <laughs> Yum. Cooking banana pancakes. Today and for breakfast today, we are having toasted sourdough with smashed avocado on top. Um, it's got garlic, spidget of salt, some chilli and lemon juice and a bit of olive oil in it. And yeah, that's our breakfast today. Lunch today is a baguette. I'm just having hummus in mine and little one is putting carrot in hers with hummus. Um, and we're gonna have some crisps with it. We don't normally have this much bread in a day. We, um, we've been swimming this morning and um, we 
we're hungry. It's lunchtime. We were hungry we, as we finished swimming, and we literally stopped by a um, little corner shop and grabbed a baguette and some crisps for some lunch. So, so yeah, that's what it is today. Tonight for our dinner, we have got that leftover leek pie that John made the other night, which is day, which is really nice. Jack of potatoes, um, green beans, and some broccoli. Breakfast today um, is Sunday. Is you guessed it, more oats this time with um, blueberry yogurt. So Monday's lunch has come from the River Cottage Much More Veg book and we are having the roasted Greek salad which is amazingly delicious. Um, we had it quite a few times with the roast potatoes, yeah. lettuce, spring onions and lemon. So yeah, really, really nice and we've made some Cookies, they're just in the oven at the moment. These are oat, uh, oat, cashew and cranberry cookies from the best vegan burger in the world book. So tonight's tea is actually pasta, pasta with pesto. It was supposed to be, in my soup maker there, it was supposed to be butternut squash soup, but it's a disaster. So we were gonna have lots of veggies. Uh, and now it's and now it's pasta. These things happen sometimes. I put way too much um, new stock in, and the stock was just way too salty, and it was disgusting. This today is rice krispies because it's near shopping. We've run out of milk, and we've run out of berries and almond butter, so I haven't really got anything to put with oats. So rice krispies it is a mess right now because i'm a messy messy cook so excuse that um for dinner today we're having this roast spice brassicas with split pea, split pea puree and that is from the much more veg river cottage book and it's yummy john's not quite so keen on the yellow split pea puree so he hasn't i haven't given him as much as i have and i love it it's awesome so we've got our roast cauliflowers and our roast broccoli and our roasted kale for tea tonight we've got vegetable soup um, this is just a mix of stuff that we've got left over so there's a bit of butternut squash left over from cutting up last night and it's got some cauliflower in it and some broccoli a couple of brussels sprouts and some carrot and a bit of soya cream and some herbs and spices and that is tea tonight and I've got the kettle boiling for a cup of tea so there we go guys that is um everything that we eat in a week i am just stirring some dal right now um and i thought i want to end this video and um i was cooking cooking my dinner and i was like oh do i need to include this meal in and i was like oh no i've done a whole week um right now i am cooking red lentil dal and i always chuck in some mango chutney because it just makes it taste so nice um and it's at that point where it's almost done and it's like i don't want it to catch the bottom um <laughs> i love lentils lentils are like my go-to comfort food so like not my go-to comfort food um things that i make when you know where the cupboards are bare or the cupboards are low because it's shopping day again this week um so yeah, that's basically everything that we eat this week. We've had like a couple of little, like the, the bread on Saturday wasn't really planned. Um, so that's like our breakfast and our main meals and everything. Um, as you saw, like John and I, we, um, uh, well, all of us, <laughs> um, we basically have um, oats for breakfast. We do have um, some cereal in, let's sit there. There's our rice krispies. Um, on for like times when I either forget to soak the oats or because I do often forget to put the oats on to soak of, any, of a bedtime. Um, so for whenever we, so we do, like I've forgotten. So I realise that's the um, extractor fans on and that's not annoying. Um, the, um, and that. Um, so yeah, we eat cereals when um, like I've forgotten to soak the oats or like the other day 
we were out of yogurt and out of fruit and stuff so um can you hear my lentils bobbling away snack wise john and i aren't particularly big snackers um we tend to like not really really snack if we do snack um, we tend to have the same things as um, our daughter now our daughter for snack she enjoys um having crudités we're really lucky she absolutely loves her fruit and vegetables um so she'll have she's not she's not keen on celery but she will have um she will have carrots she'll have cucumber um sugar snap peas and tomatoes loves those particularly with some hummus um and if she's not having crudités with hummus um, or an apple she likes an apple cut up as well dipped in hummus as do i so if she's not having crudités then she'll probably have some fruit um her favorite is melon and she likes bananas um and other snack options we have um I have plain rice cakes um which she likes with peanut butter on and that's good that gives her a bit of extra protein and some um healthy fats so peanut butter, um, and she also likes um, like plain like cream crackers, like Jacob's cream crackers. Um, and then if we've made anything like this week, we made those oat oat cashew nut and cranberry cookies. So we've had those for like snack time. Um, they're they're pretty healthy because there's nothing. There was just a bit of flour. So oats, a bit of flour, some dried cranberries, cashew nuts, mixed seed, yogurt coconut oil and a bit of flour and and that's it so they're, they're so they're pretty healthy so um let her like snack on them like you know one a day whatever so yeah that's what we that's what, that's what we all have for snack time um as i say like john and i aren't particularly like massive snackers um but yeah that's our snack times um and the other thing i wanted to say was about the oats um, I always say that um, the oats have got like mixed nuts and seeds on and I thought I would show you show you that. Okay, so I have this massive, um, not massive, but I have this big jar um, and basically what I do is I go to Holland and Barrett and I buy a load of different mixed seeds. So what have I got at the moment? I've got a couple of different lim seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, different type of linseed there and some desiccated coconut. I normally also buy the chopped mixed nuts, which you can just see there, but I'm out of those at the moment. And what I do is I just put like a handful of each thing inside this um, big jar, shake it all up, and then that is our nut and seed mix ready to go. So literally in the mornings, I've got my oats ready, and I grab this jar and I sprinkle it in um, and then it's good and then it's good to go so you don't have to spend ages in the morning faffing around with it um, I also like those cookies I said they had mixed seeds in um, I um, just grabbed this jar again and chucked it in sprinkled it in and there we go voila mixed seeds so I'm all about the <laughs> all about the convenience um, as well as trying to be healthy so um, and seeds are really good they like you know you've got lots of fiber and essential fatty acids and the different amoebas and everything so try and do that um and i've just had another delivery from amazon actually um this is how i buy our cocoa coconut and almond butter i find it cheaper to buy it in bulk than buying like one one jar at a time so yeah those are just a couple of things that i wanted to talk about here this isn't squash this is um ice actually cold tea um so yeah we don't tend to drink this to be honest but i got given quite a lot for christmas so i'm just kind of using it up but for drinks um we drink mainly water um we uh, my daughter she has some cr like cranberry juice but we water it down like you know put a little bit of cranberry juice in and the rest is water um like fresh cranberry juice um and yeah that's that's pretty much what we drink john and i drink herbal tea yeah, we drink herbal tea and we have made the switch from using tea bags because I didn't realize when I mean, we drink a lot of tea, like the teapot's basically always full. 
and we drink a lot of tea in this house and I didn't realise until I found out the other day that tea bags, a lot of tea bags um, are made with plastic and so I wasn't prepared to buy tea bags anymore. So again, I went on Amazon and I bought in bulk, in bulk guys, um, chamomile flowers. Um, I paid £11 and I filled up three of these jars and this one jar, so for, you know, it's like that much. That one jar has lasted us two weeks. So yeah, that's, so that's what we, that's what we drink. Um, herbal teas <laughs> um, and once the once this once this um like iced tea cold tea thing has been used up then um i won't be buying any more because they've got tea bags in them but i'm gonna use them up because i thought you know they'll go to they'll also go to landfill anyway whether i use them or not now so um yeah i was bought those for christmas so yeah that's everything that we eat and drink so I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. So, um, oh, and that there, that there is um, orange peelings soaking in vinegar that I'm gonna be making my own um, uh, cleaner for the kitchen with. Um, so you probably have seen like my tea and like that cleaner and things if you follow my other Instagram account. So my main kind of like, account that you would associate with this channel on Instagram is Mrs Brimbles but I also have another Instagram account called The Whimsical Cloud and on that account I share more kind of like nature and eco stuff and our move to trying to be more eco, eco and um, more sustainable so if you fancy following me over there then please do that would be great as well as on um, Instagram and yeah I hope you've enjoyed having a look at how I meal planned right the way through to the meals that we eat um, as I said at the beginning of the video I have done a collaboration with Lisa from the Lollipop Box Club so make sure you go out over and check her video too and if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you've come over from the Lollipop Box Club channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload more more videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.